Hi, in this video, I want to talk about how to make your music sounds fuller. Some people ask how to make the chorus sounds fuller when I just have three instruments like drum, bass, or maybe guitarist, or maybe a vocalist. How can I make it sounds fuller? Maybe I don't have a lot of instruments. The conclusion always comes to, to add more keyboardists, to add sequencer, to add backing track, uh, to add vocalist. I think it's not wrong by adding all of that. But before we adding too much instrument, we have to understand how frequencies work. Because if we understand this, we can manipulate a lot of things to make my mu our music sounds fuller. One key to remember, every instrument has its own frequencies. Yes, frequencies. But I'm not explaining this uh, too deep like a sound engineer or things like that. But in the terms of, uh, in the point of view of a musician, of an arranger, how we and I make the music sounds fuller, the trick is really simple. Just remember, every instrument has to be at their own parking space. Just uh, remember, uh, imagine a parking lot. Parking lot. Imagine a five empty parking lot. How do you make the parking lot sounds uh, looks fuller? You just have to park every car at every empty parking space. It's very simple. It's the same with music. How do you make your music sounds fuller? You have to park every instrument at every empty frequencies range. By doing that, you make your music sounds fuller. So I will divide it to three easy diagrams: uh, low, mid, and high. Low, mid, and high. In the low and mid, you have a low mid maybe in the, in the middle. In mid and high, you have a mid high. So for pitch instrument such as uh, guitar, piano, bass, string, vocalist, anything that has notes like a Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, C, D, E, F, G that have a, a pitch, the higher the melodies, the higher the frequencies. The lower the melodies, the lower the frequencies. For other percussive instrument such as drum, bass, shake, eh, sorry, drum, shaker, conga, uh, tambourine, and any percussive instrument, the sharper the sound, the higher the frequencies. How can I say the sharper the sound, like cymbal maybe, hi-hat, a tambourine or shaker. The sharper the sound, the higher the frequencies, the, more s -s -s. the, higher, the, the, the higher the frequencies, the lower the sound, such as kick, floor tone, uh, any low pitch, uh, uh, pitch instrument, percussive instrument, the lower the frequencies. For conga maybe you have a mid frequencies. So just remember the sharper the sound, the higher the frequencies. The dull the sound, the lower the frequencies. So by understanding this hack, we can do a lot and manipulate a lot of things to make our music sounds fuller. In piano, you have uh, just divided by three, so make it easy. You have a C in the low part, uh, low part, C in the mid part, C in the high part. You can play C in the low note, uh, C in the high one, C in the uh, higher chords. For the guitar, also the same. You can play C or G at the the, the, the lower part of the guitar in the mid part section of your fret of your fretboard you can play this another C positions you can play higher C positions so by not just by playing C at uh, whatever you like but you have to think about which C should I play in the lower part in the mid part or the higher chord it's the same for drum and everything for example you only have three instruments and one vocalist one drum player bass a guitar and one vocalist how can I make my music sounds fuller? It depends. Maybe for the chorus part, you want to make the chorus sounds fuller. You have the, the low part. For the kick, you can play the 8th note. For the bass, you can play the 16th note. Maybe for the, if you have a, a soprano or tenor, you sing the higher note. Uh, for the mid part, what should I feel the mid part? That has to be in your mind. The question that always asks about, what is the empty space? What is the empty space? If it's the mid part, you can fill it with the guitar C in the middle, maybe. Or C in a uh, much higher note, but not too high. It's the same, vice versa. If you have the uh, vocalist sings not too high, you can fill the guitar with higher note. So you have a much fuller frequencies. Or maybe at the high part, you can fill it with double hi-hat, 16 note. Or maybe more cymbals as well. Anything that makes the music sounds fuller in each frequencies. So every time you are on rehearsal, just think about what is the empty spot? What is the empty spot? Where is the empty space? Is it low? Is it mid? Is it high? Is it low mid? Is it mid high? Just think about it. I think we, we lack of a high note. 
Okay, maybe if your vocalist cannot sing higher note, just vocalist sing in the mid. Your guitar can play in the higher note, or you can use a cymbal or anything that can mimic on the high top, uh, the top end. So, by thinking about that, by that kind of uh, having that kind of uh, point of view, you can make your music sound fuller in any occasions. For ex uh, example, you have a uh, cappella singers. That's why cappella singers you can uh, feel that sounds fuller because. They don't use any instrument, but you can feel it sounds fuller because they know how they understand how to put every uh, vocalist, uh, every note at their right space. So it's the same with music. It's the same with any instrument. Just to remember, for a percussive instrument, the sharper the sound, the higher the frequencies. For melody, the higher the melody, the higher frequencies, the lower, the lower the frequencies. Park every instrument at every empty space. Good luck. God bless you.